The next device we are going to learn how to program with the Pico is the ultrasonic sensor. For this, we're going to need a Pico on a breadboard, an ultrasonic sensor, an LED, a resistor, and five wires. Take a look at this diagram to help you build the circuit. The wire circuit is also useful to build our circuit. Now, first place the ultrasonic sensor on the breadboard. Ultrasonic sensor has four pins and we first connect the trigger to a GPIO configured as an output. We then connect the echo to another GPIO configured as an input. We then connect the ground pin to the side rail which is connected to the Pico's ground and then the VCC or power to the side rail connected to the Pico's power output. We then connect an LED with its negative terminal connected to ground through a resistor and the positive connected to a GPIO configured as an output. This allows us to see the LED blink when the object is detected. Now getting down to the code, we import the pin and the timer module. We then set a timer so that we can associate a function which is regularly called at an interval. We set the trigger pin as an output and the echo pin as an input. We also configure the LED to a GPIO which is an output. Now we create a function to get the distance from the ultrasonic sensor and this is associated with a timer so that it is constantly called again and again. Now we pull the trigger high and wait for about a microsecond. We then pull the trigger low and then wait to detect the echo signal on the echo pin. We use two while loops to measure the duration of the echo. And we'll utilize the utime.ticks microsecond method to be able to get an accurate measurement of the time that has elapsed. Now, the difference between the starting time of the echo and the ending time of the echo gives us the duration of the echo pulse. Now, because we know that the ultrasonic sensor uses sound, we can now, with the knowledge of the speed of sound in air, calculate the distance between the obstacle and the sensor. And we divide this by two because the sound makes the journey to the obstacle and back. And we're only looking for the distance from the obstacle. Now, we initialize the timer and we set it to run every one second. Now in a while loop, we check the distance received from the sensor and if it's below five centimeters, we set the LED to high and if it's otherwise, we set it to low. Stay tuned for more such projects.